Hey, what's up, YouTube viewers, subscribers, and PlayStation 4, PS4 Pro friends, lists, and players. This is Rain Phoenix back again. Coming to you with a TV update. Um, as you recently know, I think about a year ago, I purchased like several TVs to find one that would suit me. And I found a good one. It's not an OLED, it's an LED, but I'm in the market for getting an OLED. But that's probably like next year or something. But um, hopefully this year maybe. And I, I'm, I'm going to shoot for next year. But um, this is about the LG 650765. Five zero UA something like that. Uh, I forgot the model number, but it still works to this day. There, I've had no problems out of it. Um, the game channels are still here. Let's get into this really quick. <clears throat> uh, go to the live TV. The only channel that I used to watch that's not here is Crypt TV, and they showed a lot of grotesque. Oops, hold on. I went to the wrong channel. I gotta go to my channels. I changed it. And click over here. Why'd it go back? I changed it. <clears throat> that's the beauty of this TV. You can set everything the way you want it. Okay. Apparently, I think this TV had an update. Channel Plus is off. So, yes. Press any button to continue. Okay, I still got my game channels and I have to go to them. Machinima and um, uh, Game Spot. Let's see where is it, where it is. BFFs, here they are. PlayStation Experience. I can put this back on my favorites as number one. I go back, put BFS back to my favorites. And two, oops, no, favorites one. So they'll all be on my top list now. Um, it doesn't have Crib TV, which used to show all kind of horror horror stuff and like really grotesque stuff and I miss that it's got some few new channels and stuff like that it's got some old channels I really wish they would get back um, I wish they would really get back um, Crip TV here's Wired pretty good job against the Sony there's a bit more bounce with the GoPro. You can see a bit more up and down movement, but the Sony has a little bit more it's exaggerated. It's, it's got free movies. I mean, none of these movies I know nothing about. They replaced, uh, I think, one of the channels they replaced Crypt TV with this stupid college humor garbage, which is not funny. It's not entertaining. This is something I choose to not watch. This is like the worst one of the worst channel upgrades ever and if i could get rid of it i would they don't show anything interesting or funny it's just boring it's just really boring um everything still works brand new out of the box um it still works my ps4 pro i still i have that option off wait this is my ps this is my PS. Yeah, this is my poor Pro. Um, let me turn this on really quick. Oops. Okay. Forgot I had that hooked up there. Hold on. All right. Uh, 
And that's charged, so I don't need this puppy anymore. And yet, yeah, it still looks good. The HDR mode is not effective now, but it's still in very good working con uh, working condition. Um, very good um, quality. The um, for this TV to not be OLED, the, the blacks are still as rich and as deep as they were when I bought the TV. The whites are as blindly white as you can get. I think it's, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is at like um, 800 to 1000 nits. I think, I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But, um, Everything looks good. You see my game channel works. You saw my TV and stuff. Let me go into an HDR game here. Uh, I will. Let's go through the chat. The settings first. Everything is fine. Everything. This TV works brand new. Still out of the day. Like the day I bought it. It actually works. So in some ways, it's better because they had some some setting upgrades and stuff updates and stuff like that but nothing with atmos for this tv but that's another that's another video but i'm let's go into a hdr game we won't go into tomb raider let's do horizon zero dawn and you will see it switch to hdr This remote is awesome. You wait, and it's got the little cursor bird there. This is a, such an awesome TV. The voice response still works. Please agree to the conditions to use voice. Okay, it's had an update, and there's the TV switching to HDR up there. And voice information yes i agree volume up and it'll go up three okay it's at 12. when i say volume up it'll go to 14. i mean 13 13 four, yeah it'll go to 15. so here we go volume up 15 it goes up three so that's that's is also and it took me like oh, two weeks to figure out my TV could do this after I bought it, and then after also like two months later, two months later I had this TV. Two months later I found out that it had its own channels, which I thought was really awesome. And um, I was not always a fan of LG. I'm not sponsored. I'm not. No, they didn't buy this TV and give it to me. I bought it. I went out and spent. Now, the only the only con I say about this is I went out and I bought it, not knowing that there were OLEDs available. And I, I seen this TV. I seen all the features that it had, and I was just hooked on it. I liked it. I wanted it. Um, I paid like one thousand three hundred and seventy nine some odd dollars and some odd cents something like that for it at sam's warehouse um if you guys don't have a sam's warehouse membership i strongly urge you to get one they have the best return policy ever um but that's a different video um and then we are into horizon zero dawn the picture still looks amazing Let's switch. This is HDR game mode that we're that I'm in now. As you can see, there HDR game mode, and it still looks just incredible. Like really, just really good. This looks really amazing. Let me see if I can fast travel to. Oh, there's my other mission there. I won't do that yet. Let's zoom out of here. 
I have all 20 of my skills. This is New Game Plus, by the way. That's why nothing is done here. Let me go to it. Let me load a different game save. Uh, let's go here. And I recently looked up a video on how to add Atmos like atmosphere to your standard surround sound. Now, of course, it's not going to be real um, official Atmos because you need an Atmos receiver. That, of course, is not an Atmos receiver, but I'll show you how to do it, what I learned anyway. It, it, it can simulate Atmos, but it's not going to give you true Atmos, which is what I chose to do until I can get uh, Atmos, Dolby Atmos. I've been into Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos ever since I got this TV way before the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One S came out. Like I I've, I've been so into Dolby's uh Dolby Vision. I wonder what their next if they okay, I figured if they had this good Dolby Vision visuals, what does Dolby have next for the for the surround sound? And I heard something about Atmos a couple years ago so I looked it up and wow Atmos just like blows away the standard like Dolby Digital is just becoming a standard for TV speakers now it's just becoming stand it's standard like every TV has to have Dolby Digital Atmos is like the next big sound thing which is like you could get anywhere from 5.1.2 to like five or seven or eight I, i've heard you can have as many as up to 18 speakers like who wants 18 speakers like you got to have ceiling speakers and everything but um yeah look at this look you can see the northern lights up there aurora borealis this game is just really awesome now this camera is washing out a lot of the color you can't really see it I do have to get another camera or a phone with a better with better video but this phone is just really can't enter this location I've never come across that before wonder where I am on the map okay wherever this location is I can't get into it Okay, I'm in a frozen wilds. Okay, let's get out of here and fast travel to a place that I'm trying to show you guys a lot of color. I'm trying to show you an area with a lot of color. This game, I mean this, this TV is just steady, blowing me away. Like it's it's looking really really good. This is a video. Also, if you guys haven't done yet, give me a follow and a like, subscribe, all of that stuff. Still working on my 500 followers. So that would help me out. This game has so many awesome visuals. Like God of War, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Far Cry 5, just all the games that has HDR mode is just, they, they never, never stop trying to upgrade the game, the, the gaming era, or uh, the, the video games and stuff like to make everything better. Look, here's a better video. Can't enter this location again. Maybe that's just from the other one. But look at this. Look how good this looks. This looks so good and everything. Look look at the moon. This is just awesome. Now I know you don't see a lot of the 
HUD is because I turned a lot of it off. The only reason I turned that compass thing on up there at the top of the screen is because I couldn't figure out where my next mission was. And I played this game enough to where I should automatically know where my next mission is. Now I've already beat this in ultra hard mode. And another cool thing is if a game goes to HDR mode and you go back to your PlayStation screen, it'll still be in HDR mode, which is I think is a pretty cool feature, but I don't know if you can see this, but see how the red looks kind of faded. Okay, then I'll, I'll, I'll stop the app. I'll close the app. Watch, it's turning HDR off and the red will look darker. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it just looks like really darker and richer. I don't know, it, it seems like HDR kind of washes things out. On some things it looks better, but a lot of things it just makes looks just makes makes it look washed out. So yeah, um other than that, that's that's pretty much my TV in a nutshell. I've had it for like almost a year. And I think it'll be a year in August, September. It'll be a year in November. And rather than waiting until November, I decided to do an update now. Um, like I said, I showed you guys a video of when I first unboxed it. And you guys been seeing my videos through then. And the TV is great. It's a really great TV. Um, and just it's just really awesome. I, I like LG. This TV made me like LG. I wasn't a big fan of LG. I hated LG. But um, that being said, I'm gonna get out of here. Um, I got another video. Got to get ready for. I've been kind of straightening up and cleaning up stuff and downgrading. I took a T. I had two TVs. I had to take a TV out. Um to make room for a bunch of other stuff. Um, I have like, I mean, it's a big room, the ceilings are high, but not a lot of stuff can fit in here. Like I wanna set it up, but like I said, it's a WIP, work in progress. So Gamers Nirvana is coming along slowly but surely. But that being said, if you like this video, please give me a like, give me a subscribe, follow all of that good stuff, and show people the video, you know, try to encourage, them to give me a follow too and I will see you guys in the next video.